Today I went to Radio for Europe um, to see Hillary Clinton and my cat is totally protesting. So yeah, here's the footage. We ask everybody to stay in the room until she's clear and we'll give you a cue to then, you know, you're free to go after that point. But please wait where you are until we tell you. Thank you. Okay. Well, good morning, everybody, and Madam Secretary, uh, if I may say at the outset, uh, you and the President frequently talk about soft power mm -hmm. and smart power, and so I think the first thing is, uh, welcome to Smart Radio, Radio for <laughs> Europe, Radio Liberty. I'd simply mention two things. First of all, thanks to the Broadcast Board of Governors, of which you were a member, and Jeff Hirschberg, who is here who is not only an energetic supporter of international broadcasting, but a dear friend of the secretaries of mine and of this company. Jeff Hirschberg, thank you very much. Uh, Madam Secretary, uh, you know this institution. Uh, we are honored that you are here. You've had a taxing trip and a successful trip. Congratulations. And we also know that in a schedule where there was no time, you made time. So thank you for that. It's our honor, and you have the floor. Well, thank you very much, and I'm absolutely delighted to be here in these new headquarters. Uh, I understand that uh, my visit today sped up the uh, moving process, uh, and so you are getting settled in to what is a magnificent uh, new headquarters building. Uh, I want to thank uh, President Gedman and my wonderful friend, uh, Mr. Hirschberg, for all of the work that they've done to uh, really make this possible. Uh, I'm very excited uh, to have a chance to help inaugurate uh, this new uh, building. I wanted to make a few points. Um, it's been over 12 years since I last visited Radio Free Europe. Who was with Radio Free Europe when I was here 12 years ago? <laughs> um, it is uh, absolutely true um, what Jeff said, that uh, this is smart power, but smart power takes smart people people who are dedicated, who understand the mission of communication and free expression and reaching out to the rest of the world. Um, and since I was last with you 12 years ago, you've moved into this fabulous state-of-the-art building. You've added radio stations in Iraq, Iran, the North Caucasus, and Afghanistan. Uh, you've dramatically increased your audiences and you've remained competitive in a rapidly changing media environment. That's a very good record of accomplishment. I just did an interview on Radio Free Afghanistan, uh, and I learned that it is Afghanistan's most popular radio broadcaster. About half of the country's adult population uh, tunes in to the bilingual Dari and Pashto uh, broadcasts on a weekly basis. Uh, it is considered a reliable outlet for information by the people of Afghanistan, as all of your services are, uh, that are going into uh, the various countries. And it has been telling the story of, uh, you know, what uh, the United States stands for as well. Uh, and I think that uh, the questions that I just answered from listeners uh, were reflective of what uh, the concerns of the people um, are. I also know that um, RFE and RL employees, journalists, staff members have faced harassment, intimidation, kidnapping, arrests, and violence. Uh, but your steadfast commitment to your mission is a great message about the importance of this work. I'm a big believer in smart power and in communications. Uh, we have a big job to do, uh, to reach out, to get accurate information into the countries and societies that we are currently 
uh, addressing, and we couldn't do it without you. Um, I want to thank you on behalf of uh, President Obama, who you saw was delivering an important non-proliferation uh, speech uh, in front of the Prague Castle. And he and I believe strongly that uh, we have to do a better job uh, in uh, explaining American values. First, we have to live by them, and then secondly, we have to explain them. Uh, when I was here 12 years ago, I gave a speech talking about uh, an alliance of values. Uh, I recently dusted off that old speech and looked at it. And I think that uh, uh, what we were trying to do 12 years ago is even more pressing today. We do want to create a, a broad international uh, agreement with uh, values that respect human dignity, individual rights and responsibilities, which give every child, no matter where that child is born, whether that child is a boy or a girl, uh, the same chance to live up to his or her God-given potential. Now, we know that we are a long way from that, but we also know we don't make progress if we don't continue to push forward. And what you do here is an instrumental, essential part of everything America stands for. So I wanted to come today, even though it was a little challenging to get the schedule worked out, um, to say thank you. Thank you for being part of one of the most important aspects of American uh, outreach. You know, when I was confirmed as the Secretary of State, I said we had three pillars of American foreign policy to advance our security and to further our values and interests. Defense, of course, and we just finished a bilateral meeting uh, with the uh, uh, government of uh, the Czech Republic, the current government of the Czech Republic, and <laughs> talked about the importance of defense and our commitment uh, uh, to the defense of free countries like the Czech Republic. Uh, diplomacy, which is part of our outreach, but not just talking at people, listening, consulting, learning from one another, arriving at common strategies to achieve common objectives. And of course, development, which is uh, an area that we believe strongly in to try to uh, provide tools and skills that enable people to make the most of their own lives. Uh, so you are an important part of all three of those. And that's, that's not true of most aspects of American foreign policy. You really do represent everything that we are trying to achieve. So thank you so much for coming out on a Sunday morning uh, into uh, this new building uh, to give me a chance to express my appreciation uh, and to tell you that I'm going to uh, look forward to uh, regular uh, broadcasting question and answer uh, sessions uh, on the various uh, uh, networks that you run, uh, reaching as many people as we possibly can. Uh, thank you so much for being part of uh, the values that we hold dear and that we hope other people will have a chance uh, to exercise and live under someday. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.